Tate Divine Ones. It's Latoya O'Kill. Want to bring y'all a quick message on this Father's Day Sunday. First of all, let me say Happy Father's Day to all the kings. Happy Father's Day, my kings. Y'all enjoy y'all day. Today is y'all day. So Happy Father's Day to all the kings out there. And listen, this is what I want to say to the women, okay? All women are queens. All women are queens. Everybody has not, every woman has not tapped into that yet. As R.C. Blake says, every woman has not come into her queen consciousness. But all women are queens. We are all queens. So let me first address that. So when I say queens, I'm talking about all women, okay? Because all women are queens. And this is what I want to say. This is going to be real quick. I was on... uh a live that coach rod was doing yesterday and if y'all have not subscribed to coach rod's channel make sure y'all subscribe to his channel he's a, a relationship coach here on youtube so make sure y'all subscribe to his channel but i was on his live yesterday and um i made a comment on the live and ever since i made that comment the holy spirit just really been dealing with me just really been dealing with me about it and we was on the subject of queens and relationships and dating and i said you know queen's got bank <laughs> queen got bank but she don't wear it on her forehead and i want to elaborate on that a little bit more because i know as women you know what i'm saying and they had some really good points that they was talking about on the live yesterday because it really made me think like as women we have been forced to be independent we have been forced to get up and get it out the mud we have been forced to get up and you know start our own businesses we've been forced to get up and raise the children and do i mean just do all of these masculine things but god revealed to me a woman does not really have to learn how to be feminine a woman will be feminine because God has put it in every single woman to be feminine. Like you have your feminine energy and you have your masculine energy. But when there is an absence of masculine energy, we can't sit around and just be feminine because ain't nothing going to get done. So as women, we have to tap into that masculine energy. And I understand that because when you starting a business, when you say your goals, you got to be strong. You got to, I talk about activating beast mode. You got to activate beast mode. You got to, you know, uh, activate that champion on the inside of you. And it take a lot of willpower, take a lot of strength to chase your dreams and start up your businesses. And that requires a lot of masculine energy. And I think as women in us doing that, we lose ourselves as a woman. Some of us, we lose our femininity. And we think that because we done had to be masculine for so long, we it's okay like we could just keep being masculine even when we in the presence of men but i want to say this to my queens baby we have to know how to step out of that role when we come into the presence of a king when we come into the presence of masculinity we have to know how to then walk in our femininity and it's a journey you know it's something that i'm embracing as well uh like i said god put it on the inside of each and every one of us okay it ain't even really something you got to learn how to do. You just got to go back to your, na your, your natural nature. Going back to your natural nature because that's the, the role that God gave you. That's, that's the creature that God made you to be, a feminine woman. When you walk in, in your masculinity, right? A lot of times we'll want to say, oh, I got this. I got that. You know what I'm saying? Like I I make six figures or I make seven figures or, um, you know, like this whole thing now where the, where the people saying, oh, what you bring to the table, what you bring to the table. And then a lot of women jumping up saying, you know, oh, I got my own place. I got my own vehicle. I got three, four, five vehicles. I make six figures. I got this. I got that. I got five, six businesses. And that's not what we that's not what we need to do as women because that's the thing about a queen yes queens got bank but queens don't wear on their forehead and see that's that masculine energy that we still walking in that masculine trait because we don't had to get it out the mud for so long when we do get in the presence of men we still being hard we still being tough and we think that we still got to walk in that masculinity but we don't we don't 
You have to know how to put that in the back seat when you get into the presence of a man and let that man be a man. Let him earn you. Let him work for you. Let him show you that he's worthy. That he's worthy of what you what you got. You as a queen. Not your physical possessions. Because a queen understand that it's not about my physical possessions. It's not about what I physically bring to the table. But it's about all of my inner qualities. It's the inner qualities. Because one thing I done learned about men is men don't even care about this stuff. And we and, and a lot of times as women, we come bragging about what we make and how much money, how much money we earn and all this type of stuff. And a man don't even care about that. Because you can make six figures and still have a nasty attitude. You can make six figures. You can ride in a Benz, BMW, whatever you drive, and you got a nasty attitude. You ain't healed. You broken on the inside. You don't know how to talk to a man. You emasculate men. You see what I'm saying? So all of that physical stuff don't mean nothing if you ain't worked on your inner. If you have not gotten your inner traits together and you ain't healed. So understand that a queen does not leave with her physical possessions. Now, now don't get it twisted. Queen got it. Queen got it now. That's just like the Bible say in Proverbs 31. That Proverbs 31 woman, she considers a field and buys it. A queen can walk up to a piece of property and buy it. Do you understand me? She can walk up to some to a piece of real estate and own it. Because queens got bank. But she ain't leading with that. She ain't got that tattooed all over her. She ain't got that on her forehead. She ain't got it on her t-shirt. Because when you meet her, you would never even know that she has all of that type of stuff. You would never even know. Because she's she's humble. She's sweet. She has a nice personality. She's joyful. She's happy. She's peaceful. That's the type of woman a queen is. Now, being feminine does not mean I got to sit around and wait for a man to do everything for me. No. You still need to have your own, but don't lead with that. That's all I'm saying to the women. That's all I'm saying. Don't lead with that. That's just like today. Today is Father's Day. I'm pretty sure, I ain't looked online, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot of women online, a lot of masculine women online right now talking about, tell me Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to me. No, it's not your day. It's the day for the kings. It's not your day. But see, that's what I'm saying. We done had to walk in that road for so long. We done had to be masculine for so long. We don't know how to take a back seat when it's time for the man to shine. We don't know how to take a back seat and just be feminine and let the man do what the man's supposed to do. So this is a message for my queens, okay? Get yourself together, of course. Heal from your past. Uh, start that business Start that, go back to school, do whatever it is that you that the Lord has called you to do. Uh, get yourself in a position where you can take care of yourself. Like I said, Queens got bank. So get yourself in a position where you can take care of yourself, but do not lead with that. Do not lead with that. In the world that we live in, they done made it cool to be the independent women. They be the independent woman. I N D E P E N. They done made it cool. They done made it cool to be the independent woman. But see, it's not cool to be the independent woman because that's not the role that God intended for us to be in. God, God, the Bible says in Genesis, man and woman stood side by side. And the Bible says, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. God gave them dual assignments. God did not split them up and say only to eve be independent and subdue the earth no so we got to start bringing the family dynamic back now to all my single women because i'm i mean i'm a single queen so to all my single queens do that mean you got to go jump with somebody today no you do not you stand still and you wait for the right person to walk into your life you work on yourself and know that know that as you work on yourself you're going to attract what's meant for you you're going to attract what's meant for you. But what I'm saying is when that time comes and you are dating or you are in the presence of a king, let your masculinity take a back seat and know how to be feminine, know how to be the woman. You know how to do it because it's in you. God put it in you. That's what he told me. You ain't got to try to learn how to be feminine. You are feminine. You are a woman. You ain't got to learn how to be a woman. You a woman. All you got to do is walk in that femininity. Walk as a woman. Remember who you were before you had to take charge. Remember who you were before you had to, 
you know, step up and pay all the bills and raise the children by yourself and, you know, all these masculine roles that you didn't have to take on, be the protector, be the provider. Remember the woman that you were. Remember that little girl that used to play with her dolls. Remember that little girl that used to have tea parties, that used to make mud pies. Remember that little girl because that femininity is still inside of you. You don't, you, I, I know you done had to be tough. I understand that because I didn't have to be tough. I know you done had to be tough. And I'm telling y'all, a lot of times we got to be tough when all we want to do is just go get our hair did. We just want to go get our nails did, babe. Go get our feet done. You know what I'm saying? Maybe come home and cook a little meal and stuff and just sit down somewhere and know that somebody is protecting you. Somebody is providing for you. I know that you want to do that. And it done, it done been times where you ain't been able to do that. You done had to put your hard hat on, put your combat boots on. You done had to go out there and change that oil. You done had to go out there and, and uh, move that furniture, move that wash machine, and move that dryer. You done had to do so many masculine roles because the, the man is not there. And you know that if you don't get up and do it, it ain't going to get done. But do not lead with that. Do not lead with that. Now, if you find being by yourself and you don't never, ever want to be with nobody else, you just want to be you to the day you die, then you can keep walking in your masculinity as a woman and you can keep being a masculine woman. But I'm telling you, when you get around a, a man, you get around a king, that's not going to work, okay? That's not going to fly. So you got to know how to, to put that in the back seat. Let the femininity walk in that don't try to lead with that that masculinity. Don't try to lead with that that masculine role, and because ma because bragging that's a masculine trait. And and as women, you'll get on so a lot of these women. You'll get on a date, and before you know it, you going off at the mouth talking about what you own and how much you make and how you don't need no man for nothing. And you telling the man, yeah, I know you used to these women that need you to pay for everything, but I pay for my own. I got me. I'm independent. That's a masculine trait. Because you, why are you, because you bragging, why are you bragging? That's, that's like you got something to prove, like you trying to prove something. As a woman, we don't have to try to prove anything. We are natural receivers. We are natural receivers. We don't have to try to do all of that. We don't have to do this and do that. We are natural receivers. All we got to do is stand still and receive. But I'm going to tell you, it take a mindset shift to be able to be still and receive. When you've been the woman that didn't had to roll up your sleeves and do stuff for so long, it take a mindset shift to get into that place where you can just lay back, kick back, and receive. Talking to my queens today. This is a heartfelt message. This is a heartfelt message because this is the same thing God dealt with me about, and I'm speaking to y'all on this as well. We got to know how to take that step back. We got to know how to put that masculinity in the back seat. Because if not, uh, if not, it's going to lead you into a place that you don't want to be. It's going to leave you alone for the rest of your life. It's going to leave you all by yourself. Because a real man, a real kingdom man, he is not going to be with a masculine woman. He just ain't. He just ain't. And I'm telling y'all, just walk in it. It's in you. It's, it's, it's instinct. It's natural. It's natural. Do not try to lead with your money. Do not try. To, that's what men do. That is a masculine trait. Anytime you do that, you're not walking in femininity. You're walking in your masculine energy. When you go on a date or you going out in public or you posting about your cars and your ride, you know, like your vehicles and how much money you earn and, um, you know, all that stuff, all that stuff, how many degrees you got, how many certificates you got. That's a that's bragging, and bragging is a masculine trait. That's a masculine trait, okay? So queens got bank, but queens don't wear it on their forehead. They don't lead with that. They don't lead with that. A queen gonna lead with her heart. A queen leads with her mind. A queen leads with her personality. That's what a queen leads with. Because she know when this man fall in love with me, he gonna fall in love with me. He not gonna fall in love with what I got. If I go to telling him, you go on a date, you start, you meet a man, you start telling him about everything you got. If he stays with you, that's because he wants to use what you got. If he's a real man and you go to telling him about what you got, he is not gonna be impressed by that and he ain't even gonna wanna know that. And he gonna wonder, why is you even telling me that? Why is you even telling me that? If he's a real kingdom man, because he ain't he ain't interested in what you got because he don't want you for what you got. He want to know what's in your heart, what's in your mind. That's what that's what a queen leads with. Okay? 
And the man that stick around, he stick around because he want to use it. He say, oh, okay, she say she makes six figures. I'm finna get me some of them figures. So that's why you don't leave with that as a queen. You get yourself together. You make sure you can take care of yourself, but you don't brag about that. That's, that's not nothing to brag about. That's something that we had to do. We didn't have a choice but to do it. Because we realized that a man wasn't going to come around and do it. So we had to do it. But don't brag about it. Okay? I love y'all so much. This, Like I said, this is a heartfelt message. I love y'all. Again, I want to say Happy Father's Day to all my kings. To all of my queens. Next weekend is the weekend for early bird registration. So y'all can sign up. Uh, make sure you sign up for the email list. If you're already on the email list, then you good, okay? But if you have not signed up, make sure you click the link in the description and sign up for the email list so you can get your notification through email that the cart is open. I'm going to open the cart on Friday, uh, June the 25th. And you're going to be able to get the healing and self-love for the Divine Woman course at the early bird price. And it's going to go from June the 25th to June the 27th, okay? I love all of y'all so very much. I am LaToya O'Keele, your life coach and your motivational speaker. And I'll check in with y'all later.